time, every time I pick someone up for Uber, I, I don't know, like I, I just, I just fall in love with them. <laughs> So uh, House Teams is Tuesday night. It's people from the training center where teams are like 10 and four of us go. There's five teams, four perform every Tuesday. And then you perform for 10 weeks with the team and we shuffle those up. So you get to kind of perform with everybody. Tuesday nights down here are a blast. It's a place um, where once you're done with the um, classes, you can showcase your improv in front of people and see reactions from you know, general crowds of people that aren't just your classmates. No, it's a fun time for everyone who's kind of been part of the company to meet up and learn more about how to do comedy better. My wife was teaching uh, students like a middle school and elementary school after school drama. And then she was uh, interested in taking a class and she wanted to ride in. So I agreed to take her in and uh, fell in love with it. First class fell in love with it. I play musical accompaniment on the piano for improv shows. I found this gig through, uh, I, I originally started playing at, at Improv Boston in Cambridge, and I'd been working there for about four or five months uh, before one of the musicians there said, oh, they're looking for people over at Improv Asylum, and he put me in touch. I wanted initially to take something that would help me out with doing stand-up, and I don't know if this was like partially the engineering part of my brain, but it was like, oh, well, we got to figure out the best way to get to stand up. Like, what are the, the you know, what's the groundwork for that? And I read that it was improv, or at least part of it's improv. So started taking improvs, and I just love it. Yeah, you see all sorts of things. Tommy, I got show. it, I got it, I got it. Oh, my God. Hey, it's not my fault. You're really good at hitting these people. Well, they're jumping in front of the car. <laughs> Well, when you leave your rating, put that down and press oh, yeah. five stars. <laughs> Before the shows, there's a rehearsal. And basically, you at the rehearsal figure out, like, what structures you want to do on the stage. So you're not ever really thinking of any characters or anything you want to do um, or object work. It's more like, um, we're going to... So tonight's, for example, we knew that we were going to do one monologue based off of the music we're hearing. And then off of that monologue, we were going to do a montage for some period of time. Hopefully, I'm coming up in, on the fly with the, with the best way to, to underscore it, to, to elevate the mood, because my job is really about uh, elevating and underlining the moods that are already going on on stage, in addition to uh, sometimes giving offers myself musically. I've been doing this for around six years and performing more nights than not on these shows. So at a certain point, I the intuition gets to a point where I don't really have to think about it. It's the, the subconscious brain kicking in and recognizing what's happening on stage. <laughs> Wait, can I see your ID, please? Oh, come on, I come in here all the time, Gerald, you know me. Uh, like, you know... I've never once asked for an ID, and you look like I know, that's why, that's why I come back here. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at IDs. She's looking at IDs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just posted no. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you could buy mine. I think, like, comedy's comedy, so work with people all different ages, work with people close to my age, work with people, uh, worked with a guy here who was in high school, and, um, you know, you're all have the same goal and improv to make a scene and make it work. So uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really seem to play into things. I mean, I don't when I'm doing it, I don't feel older. When I see pictures of myself on stage with people, I'm wondering who the old guy is. But other than that, it doesn't seem to be an issue. Carol, it's Marianne. Oh, Marianne, get the hell out of here. You're not giving my son a job. <laughs> 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 
I'm having so much fun with it now. I think maybe if I had done it earlier, I would have uh, stopped by now. So uh, really, my I have two boys who are grown and out of the house, so I have the time to do it. I work in property management. So I work for a property company, commercial and residential real estate. I'm going back to school for industrial design. I did engineering for a while. Um, that's what I went to school for. Yeah, yeah. I, everything, everything I do in life uh, can come into a scene. You know, you, you pull things and you're making things up on the fly. So, yeah, I, I've probably done a lot of scenes where I'm showing people a space or uh, negotiating a lease. I'm sure they're walking out in awe of my ability to actually look like I'm really holding a lease, but nobody's ever said that. Uh, well, I play with the, the NXT show on Wednesdays and Sundays. I currently play for the house teams show on Tuesdays, which are which is all improv. Uh, I do the the made up matinee on Saturdays, three p.m. for kids, which I just finished doing now. Um, and you know other stuff here and there when when it pops up. I have been looking for a sidekick. Say so improv's helpful. A lot of everyday life, you're fast on your feet uh, for responses to stuff. Whether the situation's good or bad, you're able to hold your own. I think I think a sense of humor helps with anything. And working with tenants in difficult situations, uh, I think it definitely helps. They go home after a conversation. They're like, oh, I should have said that. Oh, I should have said that. I'm like, could take improv because then you just start saying it and it lands pretty well when you do. Yeah, so one of the big things when you're making up a scene uh, in real time on the stage is just to listen to people. So it, it has helped my listening. You just listen at a different level. Well, I can tell you when I when I started out doing improv, one of the things I didn't realize that would be funny is um, I've done shows where nothing seems to work and the crowd's just looking at you. What I didn't realize is after you do a show like that, when you look at the people that you were performing with, you can you can laugh because you're like so humiliated. It's a very bonding experience. So I guess I never thought that, uh, you know, being in a show that kind of crashed and burned could be as much fun as it really is. You know, you're making things up. So sometimes improv really works. And when it when it works and you, you do a show and everything is funny and it's, it's almost magical. It's a good break in time. You're able to be creative and it's while laughing. So it's cool.